Um. Okay. Press any button. Start. The shape of fantasy. Vern. Or Vern the shape of fantasy. I don't know. I hit my mic. Sorry. As you can see, I'm very, very warm. Kappa. Is October in 1887 in an alternative earth called Himera. Your Jules Verne, not the writer you know, but a scientist trapped in the middle of a dystopian world war. Okay. After a terrible shipwreck, you end up trapped on a mysterious island where your extraordinary journey in search of Atlantis' deepest secret begins. Oh, so is, is Atlantis still a thing in this alternate universe? So he's not a writer, he is an inventor. Scientist, sorry, he's a scientist. Oh, this is pretty. Cedric's strange machine unleashed my memories, lightening the dark void of my stay at the island. The Annabel Lee was my first assignment as a scientific officer at the American Empire Navy. In addition to the war's own menace, there was a rumor that a huge sea monster was around, sinking ships. Despite my skepticism, three weeks after our departure, in the dead of night, that rumor became a reality, by pouncing on our ship and in a matter of minutes wrecking us. By some miracle, I survived. Luckily, the currents brought me to the island. Later, I understood that my extraordinary journey started right there. He might not be a writer, but... Ooh, can he still write? That was very good. Mobilis in mobile Mobili? Where am I? Hello? Your guess, Guzman. Okay. Okay. Oh. Why? It's destroyed. Fixing it will be difficult. Okay. Can I run? Ah, I can. Oh god. <clears throat> the attack. A monster. That sea beast came out from beneath and rammed the Annabelle Lee, ripping apart the hull like a rotten fruit. Why is it so hard to recall? Because, I don't know, amnesia? I don't know. There's no sign of life. Maybe I will find someone inland. Oh, I need food. What's the suspension bridge behind us? Off in the distance. Ooh. A petroglyph. Oh, <clears throat> it's ancient. It must mean something. Hmm. Oh. An old letter. Seems to be written by an outcast. It must be important. Oh, September 19th. Night and day, I could think of nothing but how I might destroy some of the monsters in their cruel, bloody entertainment, and if possible, save the victim they should bring hither to destroy. And what could one man do among them, when perhaps there might be twenty or thirty of them together with their darts or their bows and arrows, with which they could shoot as true as a mark as I could with my gun? <coughs> oh my god! Gosh, that was a lot. Oh, oh, whoop, whoop. Look at all that. There wasn't more I could have done down there, is there? Do, 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 do. I need something to clear up this thicket. Why? This place is a paradise. But not a soul around. I hope this island will not become my grave. Whoop. Oh! That's a pulley system. Whoop. 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 
Can I pick that up? No. There's something written on it. In this place, I arrived on September the 30th of... I cannot read the year. Maybe you should try doing something like that. A book. The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. I can't say I've read it. And the author doesn't ring a bell, but somehow it feels familiar to me. Well, at least I will have a distraction. Oh, we're taking it? Yeah, okay. Another petroglyph. The symbols are different. A lift. A former inhabitant made it. I hope that if he is still around, he will be friendly. However, it's been a long time since this was built. It might work. If only I could find a tackle. I need a tackle to make it work. Okay. I need to break the lock. Oh, I found a tackle. You now have something in your inventory. Oh. Run, run. Ooh. There's a series of marks. It could be a calendar. If we take each of the small ones for a week and the big ones for months. Oh, dear. It's a whole life. I was so much amazed with the thing itself, having never felt the like, nor discourse. <sighs> if you want to read it, you read it, but I am not. <sighs> There's a ladder. Um. I need to break the lock. It doesn't work. No, I didn't think it would. Uh huh. Remember, you can use any item for me to shoot over a map. Okay. Oh, clove hitch. The best way to tie the rope is to use the clove hitch. A sailing knot. Move in the selected direction. Move the rope. Okay. <coughs> we first go this way. Then this way. Oh no. Right. Okay. Maybe that was right. I got the last one wrong, that's what it was. Sweet, 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 sweet. Can 
I look out? Yeah, I can. Don't, don't run. <laughs> okay, so there's a cave down there. Don't run. Do not run. Okay. I must find a shelter first. Okay. There we go. I'm safe. Not in bad shape. It could be a good shelter until somebody rescues me. These trees have fruits. They might and back there, us. there's a stream of water. Now I need to rest. Tomorrow, with a clear ahead, I will find how to fix it. Oh. I was going to say, that's not a good shelter. It's got a big old hole in the roof. And the side. And the front. I spent two days completely alone. Mm. Despite that, the island was familiarly comfortable. It was a beautiful place. All my life, I dreamed about freedom and exploring the world. Maybe that was the way destiny had to give me the chance to fulfill my desire for adventure. What the hell? I wasn't wrong. I must find out what that light was. need to break the rope. I wonder if anything's changed. Uh, but there's an elephant down there. But the island has changed. What happened? Um, well, it's not changed that much. There's just some more stuff washed up on the beach. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Oh, just cutscenes us. Okay. But what the... An elephant and a balloon? What's going on here? They feel familiar. Maybe a dream. Jules Verne saw his first novel published five weeks in a balloon. The, sto the story describes a thrilling journey through the unexplored territories of Africa, led by the eccentric Dr. Samuel Ferguson, his faithful lackey Joe, and the professional hunter Dick Kennedy. In order to find the sources of the Nile, these aeronauts decide to cross the continent, travelling in a balloon named Victoria in honour of the Queen of England, whose innovation innovative use of hydrogen allows it to make long journeys. The novel immediately became a great public and critical success. In part, this was due to the enormous interest of, for the African continent of the audience at the time, but also because of the mixture of imaginary travel and solid for the time scientific information. One of the most passages in the novel describes how an elephant tows the balloon to cross the mountain range known as the Mountains. Thanks to this first success, Vern gained the financial security that would allow him to fulfill his dream of becoming a writer. He signed a contract with Pierre Jules Herzl Publishing House, I think I said that right, which was to publish the rest of his works for the next 40 years. It is nothing, it is worth noting as a curiosity that Van had never ridden in a balloon when he wrote the book and would not do so until years later. Oh. So this actually... More books. Edgar Allan Poe, Alexandre Dumas, again, Victor Hugo. Never heard these names before. How do you know I'm saying then? <laughs> they don't look like they have been dragged here by the sea. Where do they come from? Um, so it's, it's, it's exploring his works. What's going on here? <coughs> Parisienne de l'électricité? That can't be. 
How does a street light get here? And this writing desk. Again, oh, that's the desk? It's weirdly familiar. That must be the light I saw. Wait a moment. There's something on the ground. Oh, a machete. You I wanted. need something that can help me. You wanted mm. something. Another oh. petrol. The symbols are different. Yes, of course they are. <clears throat> What's this? A door. That wasn't here before. It's jammed. To activate the mechanism, I need the missing blocks. Could the petroglyphs be the answer? Look for the fragments to activate the mechanism. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else this way. Probably not. Run, 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 run. He runs on his tippy toes. Nope. I also see back there there's like a pirate ship. See it with the sail? Sorry about coughing, it's just I uh, choked on my own saliva earlier. The stick has and a now weird I've got a shape. weird almost feeling. like a key. Ooh. A strange key. <gasps> Butterflies. Wasn't that down this way? Butterflies. Wee wee. Oh, can I use that on all of the petroglyphs? Are they all some sort of butterfly? I guess that could be a butterfly on a tree. This looks like a worm. Oh, it could be caterpillar. The first stage of butterfly. Oh, can I break the lock with this? Yeah. New tool. Okay. <coughs> okay. Okay, nothing here. Boop. Here we go. <laughs> Can we use the tools on the house? No, that's not interactable. Right, okay. Boop. Come on, hurry up.
Oh. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Right. Put it back down. Oh no. <laughs> I have to switch the switch. I forgot. Come on. I know what I'm doing. Alright, and then we go like this. Fly. I don't know if I'm getting it. Oh. Oh, I I didn't get it at all. I, I phew, that was just a coincidence that that happened. I need something that can help me. Oh, yeah. I need something that can help me. I thought you were going to comment on this. Oh, look. We've got to pick up another. He was no sooner landed upon. He was no sooner landed upon the earth, but he moved forward towards me with a long spear or weapon in his hand. I can't make heads or tails out of this speak. I'm sorry, I can't read it. Oldie worldy English is just now I have all the books for the door. To open the door, set the cycle in order. Oh, okay. Right, so... Yes! I did it! Somebody wants me inside. What if it's a trap? Should I take the chance? However, I could probably find inside an explanation for what's going on. And of course, it's a much more solid shelter than a wood cabin. Ooh. Holy Antikythera mechanism! What's this place? This hasn't been built by some castaway. What? You seem flabbergasted about something. Ooh. Oh, that looks like a face right above me now. Oh, look, some... some Runes? Something enigmatic they hold. This gallery could lead into the centre of the earth. Centre of the Earth. Journey to the Centre of the Earth was published in 1864 and immediately became a success. Professor... Leidenbach? Lidenbach? Lidenbach? 
and his nephew Axel discover a manuscript in which a 16th century alchemist describes the journey to the centre of the earth starting at the centre of the Icelandic volcano. <gasps> Not even going to try and attempt that. Following his directions and the trail of runes engraved in stone, they travel through a fantastic subterranean kingdom in which, among other discoveries, they discover an inland sea the size of Europe, a battle between Jurassic creatures and even an encounter with primitive humanids. Verne's... No, 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 no. Aha. Verne's exciting book was the product of a combination of his rich imagination and his knowledge of the latest geological discoveries of his time. As his pages reflect the work of renowned scientists of the time, such as Alcid Dobigny, paleontologist and president of the Geological Society of France, and Charles Santiclair de Ville, sorry, volcanologist and founding member of the French Meteorological Society. However, some theories that were considered valid at the time have now been refuted. The most obvious example is the theory that after an eruption, volcanic conduits remained hollow and that for this reason, a worldwide network of interconnected subterranean caverns was possible. Modern science was shown that these conduits are too small and clogged with solid rock, making them unfortunately impassable to humans. Well, we don't like your science. We do like science. Just joking. But I like I like that one, Journey to the Centre of the Earth. Not read it, obviously, it's an old worldy English. I'm trapped! No you're not, you're I fine. There's another way out. Can I not? But there's something written there. Oh I see, I think it's someone's grave. Mon Dieu! What's going on on this island? Hey, sit down. Read a the book. The Life and Incredible Adventures of Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe. Wait a moment. I remember that. I've read this book a dozen times. My God! The letters, the cabin. These are elements of that same story. Am I hallucinating? Robinson Crusoe, written by Daniel Defoe, was published in April 25th, 1719, and is considered the first English novel. Defoe wrote Robinson Crusoe in approximately six months, when he was over 50 years old, and it was a phenomenon because one of the books was most, with most editions, translation and knockoffs in history. Oh, Robinson Crusoe was passed off as a chronicle of real events. The stories of shipwrecked sold sailors were very popular at the time and there are several names that could have served as inspiration for Defoe, among which stands out that of the buccaneer Alexander Selkirk, who in 1704 preferred to stay on the uninhabited island of Massatiera in the South Pacific rather than continue aboard the Sick Ports. Sinker? Sink? I don't know. Which he considered too damaged to continue sailing. After four years and four months in solitude, he was rescued safe and sound by the Duke, another privateer ship. Upon his return... Upon his return to London, his story of survival made him a celebrity. In 1966... Wait, how long was he out there? Four years and four months. Jesus. In 1966, the island was renamed Robinson Crusoe's Island. Stop. I want to go down. There we go. I'll just use the arrow buttons. Uh, Jules Verne was a great admirer of Defoe's Robinson, something that is evident in many of his works, such as The Mysterious Island, although in this case, which leads the protagonist to the island of the title, is not shipwreck at sea, but the fall of a hot air balloon. In 1882, he published A School for Robinsons, in which he shipwrecked his characters on another island where they had to survive all kinds of dangers and threats, such as inclement weather, tribes of cannibals, and even wild animals, with the only help of an aborigine and their own hands. 
by the way, the full title of the work was The Life and Strange Surprising Adventures of Robinson Crusoe of York Mariner, who lived eight and twenty years all alone in an uninhabited island on the coast of America near the mouth of the great river of Orunoke? Sorry. Having been cast on shore by shipwreck, wherein all the men perished but himself, with an accident how he was at last as strangely delivered by pirates written by himself. Okay. Wait a moment. There's a note here. What mystery is this? All the books have my name on them. But they're all blank. No titles. From the Earth to the Moon, Around the World in Eight Days, The Green Ray, The Golden Volcano. This fly is going to get it in a minute. What am I meant to select the shelves in the correct order? How the heck am I meant to know? Okay. From the Earth to the Moon. Well, that's a... No. I thought that was a globe, but obviously not. Um, I'm going to kill this fly. Oh! From the Earth to the Moon. Oh, I guess that's like a rocket ship, yeah. And then the globe. The green ray. Something green. That one's bright green. Yes! I'm the best. No, I... Uh, it's ancient ooh. Greek. The gift of Placea will help you to change pieces of the world. Only if your imagination is as brilliant as her flame. Excuse me? What's this? It must be hundreds of years old. Oh, what? Good heavens! But what in the name of... D -d -d there was a man. There was a man. Here again? What's going on? Did this artifact do it? What is this? Yeah, what is this? <coughs> Go to the stone claps to use the enigmatic. Oh, is it like a rewind? Oh, this this fly, this this fly is is gonna die. Adapt the description. The gift of Placea will help you to change pieces of the world. <laughs> but maybe I could fix them with this devilish artifact. Offers logical choices. Explore the world to get more options. Select one, but be careful. Not all of them have a happy ending. Okay. Time has changed. What happened? Ooh. Well done. Now you must wait for it to recharge. If you choose wrong, it may go back to go back a short time. But beware, it doesn't happen often. Happy rewriting. Okay. Um. <coughs> Fortunately, stones resisted and kept withstanding. What is that noise? Oh my goodness. a nightmare! I must run away from this island. Maybe I could fix the boat with this devilish artifact. I'd rather face the dangers at sea than stay trapped in this madness. What happened over here? Oh, uh, escape the island. Okay. Whee! Whee! Run! 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 What the hell is going on?
quite a wind. They don't want you leaving, obviously. I must hurry and fix the boat with this devilish artifact. Oh, I'm sorry. I always get the X and the B mixed up. Do that. Hours later, while I was drifting away, my head still boiled with questions. I could never imagine that my salvation would come in the form of the monster that destroyed my own ship. Scared to death, I discovered a new truth. It was a monster. Yes, it made of steel. Excuse me. The Adventures of Jewel Fern still hide many dangers and secrets that we can't show you yet. If you like this demo, help us by adding Fern the Shape of Fantasy to your wish list. Thank you. Definitely go add it to your wish list, please. If you watch this whole thing, add it to your wish list. This was amazing. <laughs>